Let's talk about how we can manipulate time through things like pickups or through gameplay like Super Hot. All right, so I've gone ahead and I just set up a simple little scene here. I've just got my little player that I can move around. I have a blue box and this orange yellow box here. They're going to represent my pickups. One's going to slow down time and one's going to speed it up. And just for a clear image or clear picture uh, in your mind of it working, even though you should be able to tell with me moving, uh, we have our little red box here just kind of shooting little objects at us. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, with our power-ups and our timer, um, my power-ups, they just consist of an area 2D with a collision shape, and they have empty scripts on them right now. And then I have a timer, which I'm going to use just to uh, reset the time right back or the time scale back to normal after a set amount of time, which in here, I think after five seconds, that's when I'll set it. So I'm going to set the wait time to five seconds. Right, so how are we going to do this? Well, let's start with my slow down power up here on the script that I have on that. Go ahead and take a look and what I'm going to put on this is I'm gonna go ahead and actually connect a signal, right? Area 2D, signal, and I'm gonna get a body entered. So body entered, and I'll connect it up to the power up it's attached to. And we can say if body equals, uh, I would normally say player, but I left the default names. So we'll say character body 2D, or you know what, since we have default names there, we can just say is character body 2D. Um, then we can manipulate the time. And how do we do that? We can actually access the engine singleton and that has a time scale property on it. And that we can go ahead and modify. So since this one's gonna slow us down, let's go down to 0 0.25 when we touch it. And then I'm gonna have to go ahead and start my timer. Not going to get us there. We have to go up one parent. Oops. Just uh, fix that real quick. There we go. So up one parent down to timer dot start. I guess we're not going to get anything in there. Um, but sure. Let's go ahead and just get those in there just to, of course, be saved. Bar. We'll call it timer equals. That's going to be a timer. And then we'll just set it inside of our ready. Actually, no, we export it. We don't have to. So just to make sure we're not uh, mistyping anything. Timer dot yeah, start. Without a power up two, I'll just go ahead and drag that into my inspector. And assign that to my variable. There we go. All right, so now when we touch it, that should trigger. Well, I'll go ahead and put a script on the timer as well. And we can, we'll just connect the timer zone timeout signal to him, to himself. And all we'll do on it is engine dot timescale equals one. All right, so now when we touch the blue box, time should completely slow down to a quarter. Of its normal speed there you go and after five seconds we should return to normal seems like a long five seconds when you're waiting I feel like that is not returning to normal uh, which means our timer may not have started which would be a little oh there we go that was just seemingly a really long five seconds it's curious It seems a lot longer than five seconds. Uh, but regardless, all right, we're good, we're fine, but it does say five. But just to be sure, I think I'll come in here. And I believe we can put a 
put a uh, time in there when we start. Yes, we can put a time in there. So go ahead and I'm going to say three. And we'll see if that tweaks it. Because that was a little strange. That was definitely longer than five seconds. Oh, that is definitely much longer than uh, five seconds or three seconds. Uh, but the point is, that's working there. Oh, that's right, because the time scale, so it's being slowed down by, obviously, four times the amount. So three seconds, we slow it down. So we're having a quarter, so we're going into fours. So three normal seconds is going to be, actually, 12 seconds. Right. There we go. I forgot to calculate that in. So if I come in here, because we're changing the time scale of everything, right? So if we come in, so now I put one there. So this should only be four seconds now. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah. So we just had a little bit of math that I uh, didn't think about. All right. So now inside of our second power up, we can do that same thing. Grab our area 2D. Get our body entered. Attach it to power up two. And we can do this same thing. Check if our body is our player. And I'll need my export here as well for this. Now set my timer. There we go. So we should be all good. Only this one is going to speed us up. So if I set this to two, that means we have we're going twice as fast. So one second here would be half a second. So if I set this to four, this should only speed up time for two seconds. All right, so we come on down. We can touch the blue one and we'll slow down for four seconds and then we'll go back to normal. And then we'll grab the orange one. Boom. And now we're going really fast and we're slow down again. So there you go. That's how we can actually manipulate time through these power ups. If you want to do it with a pickup. Now, if you wanted to do it like a super hot style, um, then we can actually uh, go ahead and change this. All right. So uh, before we go in here, just to show it off a little clearer, I just went into my little bullet here and I just multiply its direction by speed and multiply by delta just to make sure we're being affected by the time scale here uh, properly. So all we're going to do, if you want something like super hot, you just say if velocity. So that's going to say that's only going to be true if we're moving. And if we're moving, right, then we can say engine dot time scale equals one to be normal. Else, if we're not moving. We can just say engine dot time scale equals say uh, 0 0.1, for example. And now you see as we start, it's going to be a long time before that first bullet gets shot. That's because it's moving so slow. But as soon as I start moving, uh, it's going to fire and it's going to be moving really fast. When I stop moving, time is going to slow down. You see it? Just so you can get that uh, more of a super hot uh, kind of movement where you got normal speed when you're moving. And then if you're not moving, everything slows down. All right. So there you go. There's how you can implement it through. Uh, that's well, there's how you can manipulate the time scale within your game. How you can tie that manipulation to a pickup such as our orange and blue squares there and how you can set up your time manipulation to mimic something like super hot all right that'll do it for this week take care have yourselves a good one and i'll see you guys in the next one